Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you are a subscriber, I'm not in my usual setup today. Now it's actually hot in Birmingham and I swear to God, that sentence only comes out of my mouth probably twice, three times a year max. So I've come downstairs today because it's a little bit cooler. So I hope you guys don't mind. But today I'm actually ha like planning, hoping that I'm gonna be helping a few of you guys out. I'm presuming you've clicked on this video because either you just wanna watch me, which thanks, or you just have some anxiety about going to the gym and you don't feel confident when you're at the gym. Now, I just want to say, literally, I feel like every single person goes through this stage. You know, the gym can be a very scary place when you first walk into it. Like, there's so many machines everywhere. There's people. We're gonna get into all of that, but I just wanna say that it is completely normal to feel like anxious before and in your gym sessions. And honestly, I started the gym with my brother and then I went with my mum and dad and then I started going on my own, which I feel like that was when, you know, I didn't really feel confident and I got really nervous before my sessions. However, I do feel like I have overcome it. So I'm gonna share some of my tips with you guys. So we're gonna start rambling and get into the first tip, which is find the right gym for you. Now, you can have literally day passes or do some introductions at gyms and just get the feel, like the people at the gym, the feel. If it's your kind of gym, you know, everybody prefers different gyms. Like in my area, there's a lot of like bodybuilding gyms and then there's fitness gyms, there's smaller gyms. I go to quite a small gym. So I would just say, don't rush into anything. Find the gym that you kind of like, the atmosphere, the people, you know, just feel more comfortable comfortable tip number two i know a lot of people won't be able to do this but this is something i did in my journey is i would go to the gym on the off peak hours because i wouldn't work every single weekday and i know some people don't do that and they'll have days off in the week but a lot of people work five days a week and they'll go to the gym from six to eight and four and after so if you have the day off and you want a less busier gym because it makes you feel like more comfortable and confident try going between like 10 and 12 where a lot of people won't be at the gym and just see how that works for you as well tip number three is really really important and it honestly can help a lot of people it's pretty self-explanatory but Go to the gym wearing what makes you feel confident and comfortable. Now this could be, you know, a cute little sports bra and some leggings, or it could be an oversized t-shirt and some joggers. Like, it's all about what you feel comfortable in and confident in, and I feel like that can make such a difference. I know some days I will be having a down day, and it's like, I don't wanna wear like any tight leggings or clothes. I will feel much confident going into the gym with a baggy t-shirt and joggers on because that's just what I feel and I feel like if you feel more confident in the gym you won't worry about what people are doing you won't worry about people looking at you because you're just in your zone and you know you know you know I don't know how to explain it but you know what I mean it's pretty self-explanatory tip number four is grab your headphones and make a good playlist that makes you feel confident and in your zone and motivated because if you are going to the gym and you're not wearing headphones, you're gonna hear everyone around you and the music's always quiet. And personally, I would just feel like looking around like, Ooh. but when I have my headphones in, I'm like, okay, nobody talk to me. I'm gonna kill this workout. I've got my tunes on, whatever music you wanna play. And I feel like it just helps you. It's just you and the music ready to smash a session. I know everyone might be able to do tip number five, but it is bring a friend or a family member to the gym. I feel like when you're on your own, you kind of look around a lot more, but if you've got someone there to like talk to and work out with, and you feel like the attention's not just gonna be on you kind of thing, that helps a lot. We'll talk about people actually looking at you in the gym in a minute, but that's what helped me. I went with my brother and then I went with my mum and dad and it just helped me build up my confidence. And now I go on my own. I've said this about every single one, but number six is so important. It is make a plan. Sometimes if you don't make a plan, you'll go in the gym and you'll be like, uh, like it's kind of like, whoa, you get a bit overwhelmed because you're like, okay, so what can I do next? And I actually like to write down my workouts every single Sunday. I'll sit down, I plan my workouts out for the week, plan the days that I'm going to do them because I go into the gym, I'm already in the zone because I'm like, okay, first exercise, I'm going to do this. Second exercise, I'm going to do this. It just stops you from walking in the gym and being like all intimidated by the machine saying, should I do this machine? Should I do this one? Because you've already got the plan in your head. So you're like, yep, go in. And I'm going to do six exercises on these machines or these weights. And then I'm going to get out of there kind of thing. Number seven. Now, 
We have the internet now. We have, you know, such a big advantage. Honestly, Instagram and YouTube, you can learn so much on there. Honestly, most of the exercises that I know, I have learned from YouTube. Obviously, there's better videos, you know, but I will put up some um, influencers that I think post some great workout videos. Honestly, if you're struggling and you honestly don't know where to start, like whatsoever, you don't even know any exercises, have a look on YouTube. There are so many, you know, fitness influencers, professional, like, you know, PTs that post their workout videos or post tips and some exercises for leg days and upper bodies and shoulders and abs. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. And not to like plug myself or anything, but I do have a little fitness page on Instagram and I have posted some workout videos and I'm definitely, def definitely going to be posting some more to help you guys out so yeah just have a look at some influencers and some youtube videos you can honestly learn so so much now i know from experience walking into the gym it can be very 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 intimidating going to grab a dumbbell or going to grab a bar to do squats so if you are, you know, worried, because I used to be worried about going into the gym and having to go and get the weight and then go and get the bar and I'd feel like people are looking at me when I'm grabbing all this equipment. So if you are struggling with that, I would say maybe try the machines first, get like confident on them. The machines at the gym most of the time, they actually show you what they're targeting. So the leg machine, it can show you your hamstrings, it shows, tells you how to do it, it has step by steps. So, you know, machines aren't always like the best option. It's much better to like, you know, do free weights with dumbbells and bars. But as a beginner, you know, if that is really intimidating, then I would say try some machines first. You know, if you don't want to do squats with the bar, go on the Smith's machine. It's a little bit assisted. Stuff like that will help you out. And then hopefully doing that, you'll build up your confidence. And then one day you're like, yep, going to get the dumbbells out. I'm going to do some bicep curls now and all that good stuff. So number nine is that it's honestly not a competition and half the time people aren't looking at you. Like it can be so intimidating because if you're a beginner and you don't exactly know what you're doing, you think everybody's looking at you. But I promise you, majority of the time, they're not. And honestly, whether you're lifting 2kg or 200kg, you should be so, so proud of yourself for getting up and going to the gym. I know it can be so, so hard and challenging and a lot of the times you feel unmotivated, but everybody is on their own journey and you should be proud of starting or continuing with yours. Following from that, I want you guys to understand that results don't happen overnight. You know, if you see this person in the gym and you're like, I really, really love their physique, I love their figure, you know, they have probably trained really, really hard for that. So understand that you're not going to do a leg day, unfortunately, and come back and have the physique that you, you know, you want. It's going to take a lot of time. So don't be disheartened if you are going to the gym and, you know, you aren't seeing results in the first week. It's not going to happen. I mean, I wish it happened like that, but it doesn't. And lastly, I just want to say, if you do feel um, like intimidated or someone is bothering you at the gym, then you can go over to the staff that work there and I'm sure they'll be happy to, you know, take care of that situation. You know, I don't want any of my girls or boys to feel like intimidated by someone at the gym. So, yeah. I actually rambled on so much there and I apologise, but I really did hope these tips help you out. And if you have any more questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments or just DM me on Instagram and I will get straight back to you. But yeah, I hope this helped you out and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.